Hello everyone, this is a preview on pediatric dermatology. A four day old with blotchy erythematous macules, some papules, and a few pustules on the trunk, face, and extremities at four days of age. What is the most likely diagnosis? Erythema toxicum, transient neonatal pustular melanosis, heat rash, herpetic dermatitis, impetigo. The correct answer, erythema toxicum, very common in the first few days after birth. Erythema toxicum. Erythema toxicum is a benign self-limited condition. The onset in day one to day two after birth. Characterized by discrete erythematous blotchy macules or patches. A lot of red patches on the skin. Each with a central papule. Sometimes is vesical, sometimes pustule. The rash or the pustule is filled with eosinophils. The process lasts for a week or less. And the management is reassuring the parents it will disappear by itself. No medications are required. This is a two-year-old female with history of atopic dermatitis. She has flare-up and the flare-up uh, worsen despite the use of topical steroids. And now she has fever and malaise. On physical examination, she was noticed to have numerous monomorphic, monomorphic vesicles, crusts, and erosions. What is the most likely diagnosis? Is it just the eczema flare-up or eczema herpeticum or impetigo or viral exanthem? The correct answer, this is a classic presentation of eczema herpeticum. Eczema herpeticum from the name is herpes simplex virus infection usually occurs on the top of a skin problem such as eczema or seborrhea dermatitis presents with fever widespread of vesicles and crusts and erosions complications it may travel to the eye and will cause keratoconjunctivitis bacterial super infection of the skin Diagnosis is a clinical diagnosis, but if the case is not clear, you may do herpes simplex virus culture, T-Zank smear, or direct fluorescence assay or PCR. Management of eczema herpeticum in patient management in severe cases, IV a cycle of 10 mg per kilo per dose every 8 hours. Antibiotic if secondary bacterial infection, control the pain and fever, and provide IV hydration. Outpatient management in mild to moderate cases, a cycle of 20 mg per kilo per dose 4 times a day. If the calculation exceeds 800, the maximum dose is 800 mg 4 times a day, regardless the weight. Don't apply topical steroids on eczema herpeticum, no need. Blend emollients, this is the best to keep the skin hydrated. Lesions on eye lead require immediate ophthalmology consult. Infestations. Scabies is very common and is easily to be missed. So very important to know how to make the diagnosis. Scabies is caused by sarcobitis scabii and the spread of scabies by direct to prolong skin to skin contact. You need hours. One or two minutes contact with an infected person is unlikely to give you scabies. Pruritus is the most important symptom of scabies, intense itchy, especially at night. So the patient will be very itchy most of the time and at night is worse. And on the exam, you will see the burrows. This is the most important sign and is pathognomonic for the diagnosis of scabies. It is serpiginous, snake-like, grayish, thread-like, elevations in the superficial epidermis. It is intraepidermal tunnel created by female escapes or mite. Also, it may give you papules. Papules are very common as well. And the papules may become infected and will change it to vesiculopastules. As we mentioned, itch is the most important symptom of escapes, but specific locations will make escapes is very likely. First and most important, webbed spaces of the fingers. These spaces are very specific for scabies. Very important to look for it. And also the flexor part of the wrist, the flexor surfaces of the wrists, and elbows, axilla, very important, and the waist and belt line, the dorsal part of the feet, very specific, genitalia like scrotum in men, also areola in uh, girls, buttocks also scalp involvement can be seen but in infants again to emphasize scabies is a clinical diagnosis if you have a child or adolescent with itchiness and the itch is worse at night and you have one or more of these specific locations for scabies and one or more family members 
are itching and you see the papules and burrows or papules in the affected area this is scabies so you can go, go ahead and treat the patient and all family members this is a toddler with scabies has papules on the as you see on the elbow and also on the trunk and severe itchiness other family members were affected as well treatment of scabies all contacts and family members of a child with scabies will require treatment even if they have no obvious rash or no symptom the treatment of a choice and first line is permethrin 5% cream is recommended for children older than two months and is recommended to apply from the neck to toe and you have to leave it for eight hours then wash off this cream in the morning and repeat the same in seven days and very important to include the scalp in infants precipitant sulfur is a good option for pregnant women and neonate less than two months who are infected with scabies apply for three consecutive nights then repeat in seven days topical spinosad is recommended in case of scabies for four years and older apply for 10 minutes before up before wearing the cloth or before dressing so leave it for 10 minutes before dressing and then after that the child can wear the cloth and leave it on for six hours before showering and only single use you don't need to repeat apparent treatment failure is a very common in scabies many patients they come and they say my child is still itchy so very important to teach the patients about post scabetic itch the itchiness may take time to disappear so you can give uh, antihistamine like first generation hydroxazine or a diphenhydramine will work very well especially at night and topical steroids if the itchiness is significant improper use of medication is a common cause of treatment failure if the patient's applying the treatment or the cream for short time like four hours instead of eight hours or missing many body parts also reinfection also is common from vomits or uh, contacts contacts they were not properly treated in apparent resistant cases or significant cases you can use oral ivermectin and this can be given uh, for any age if the weight is more than or equal 15 kilograms very important to be familiar with other forms of scabies like nodular scabies nodular scabies is a skin hypersensitivity usually will be seen in the skin folds groin and the axilla it is a localized hypersensitivity reaction no live mites so that in this case you don't need to give uh, permethrin for example you can apply topical corticosteroid to persistent lesions also there is another form is well known as post scabetic pastiolosis it is a variant of acropastiolosis present with intensely pruritic and acral pustules you will see it in the extremities hands and feet and eruption may last for five to seven days will spontaneously go away you can apply topical steroids and give oral antihistamines you need to hear this if you're a pediatrician aiming to ace your board exams dr naga's got your back introducing dr osama naga's ultimate review series Crafted by a board-certified pediatrician and editor of the 2024 Pediatric Board Study Guide, this series is your ticket to success. Dr. Naga breaks down critical subjects and real-life clinical encounters, ensuring you're ready for anything the exam throws your way. Each lecture dives into essential topics, complete with clinical case scenarios and multiple-choice questions. Need to study on the go? Download the lecture PDFs, take notes, and access them offline. Choose from one month, three months, six months, or even a full year of unlimited access tailored to your needs. Ready to boost your chances of passing? Study with our review series and tackle AAP prep questions from the last three years. You'll gain knowledge and confidence to pass with flying colors. Visit lastminutepediatric.com and subscribe now. Check out free video samples on our YouTube channel, Pediatric Board Last Minute Review. Good luck with your exams.